Hi everyone, it's Jojo. I just got back from the Goodwill and I thought I would uh, film a thrift haul right away. Um, it worked out well for me when I did that the other day, so I'm going to try it again. Um, everything I got today was at one Goodwill and everything minus one um, scarf that I got just came in. So they all had the same pink tag to them. So they just came in yesterday, whether they put them on the floor yesterday or um, put them out this morning. I don't know because I got there first thing in the morning when they opened up. Uh, but everything just came out. So um, I managed to pick up some really good items. And I can't wait to show you. I'll just start at the front and I'll tell you what I paid for it. Um, this set of uh, Disney World, um, it's a vintage bowl and it came with the coasters. I paid a dollar for, I think it might have been like a dollar twenty nine. I did unwrap this one. I did come back by unwrap this one so I can show you. Um, the coasters do say something different on each one. Like this says Liberty Square. Liberty Square. This one says Main Street, USA. And these are heavy glass coasters. This one says Fantasyland, Walt Disney World. And this one says Adventureland, Walt Disney World. And then the bowl that comes with it just has all different pictures on it. Um, but I thought that was really neat. It was wrapped up, so I, I didn't know that each one was individually different. But I thought that was cool. I got this little like needlepoint uh, cruel art of Mrs. Claus. And I paid 79 cents for her. And um, here's the back of it. I just thought it was really cute. It would be cute for Christmas. This I also unwrapped. Um, the lid was um, saran wrapped to the bottom, and I wasn't sure who made it. I paid $4.99 for it. It is an enamel, heavy cast iron pan, um, saucepan with the lid, and it is vintage. If you look at the bottom of it, uh, it's hard to see. Sorry, the lighting, again, is overcast and rainy here today. Um, it is Le Creuset. And it is really nice, it's extremely heavy. So I was excited when I unwrapped it and saw that. I wasn't sure, because the handle said T-E-C-K, and I wasn't familiar with that. Um, but when I unwrapped it, I just knew it was extra, extra heavy. So I went ahead and took a gamble on it, and when I was unwrapped it, I was very surprised. So um, that's really nice, I was really excited about that find. I got a set, and I haven't unwrapped all of these yet, but they are all the same. Paid a dollar ninety nine for barware glassware. You know I love glassware. Um, this is Blendo. I saw this first and I got super super excited. And then I turned around and noticed that they were all hand painted with flowers. I've never seen that before, so I'm gonna have to look that up. I didn't realize um, they had painted ones, so that was neat. I bought these little kitties. They come together, little figurines. I pay seventy nine cents for it. And on the bottom, it is somebody, I can't really read the name, it's really faint. Maybe Rose, Rose Mary maybe? It says 1966 though. But I thought they were really cute. And again, looks like they have little hand painted flowers on them. I picked up a vintage um, Milton Bradley Nintendo Super Mario Brothers game. And I paid $4.99 for it. It has all the packaging tape all around it, and that's why I almost didn't get it, as you can see. But um, I think I'm going to uh, keep that anyway. Um, my son has the old Pac-Man uh, board game, so this would be neat to add to that collection. I'm not sure if it's all in there yet. I guess I'll have to go through it and look, but I thought it was pretty neat, so I went ahead and got that. And then the last two things I want to show you are scarves. This scarf, scarf actually came in uh, at the end of April and I paid $1.59 for it. It's just a, um, a thin floral material and it has a little mini pom-pom trims on it. I thought that was cute. And then this, of course, I'm super excited about and I did look it up in the store and it is an authentic Louis Vuitton a scarf. There's one on eBay, I just kind of caught a glance at it when I was at the store and it still had, I don't know, it had like eight bidders on it, it was like 81 bucks. But I paid $2.49 for it and I am super excited for it. 
I would consider selling it, but I really, really want to just keep it for myself. So we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, so that's what I got today at the thrift store. And I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Um, if you like this um, video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to see some more vintage haul videos. And I will be back soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.